Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you a better way to manage and archive your iMovie projects. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when working in iMovie you may see something like this. Several different projects here. You choose the project you want to go into and there's that project. If you look under Project Media you'll see the clips you're using in that project. And if you look under the library here you'll see clips for all of the projects. So I have lots of clips here because I've got three projects saved in this library. Now it's typical for somebody new to iMovie to just keep adding more projects. And this library will keep getting bigger and bigger. In the Finder use Go and go Home and then go to the Movies folder. Chances are this is where your iMovie library is. That's the default location. So in this case I see one just called iMovie Library. That's the default. And it's one file. It's actually a package containing lots of files. But for the most part it's handled as one file. And it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger the more projects you add. And eventually make it so big it's taking up too much space on your drive and you'd like to clear it out. But all of those projects across all those years are tied up into one library file. You have to either keep them all or get rid of them all. Or the other option is to go into your iMovie library here and maybe delete a project. Maybe go in here and go to your library and delete some clips. But there's a better way to do it. Instead just follow the rule of one project in one library file. Never have more than one project there. The advantage to having multiple projects in a library is you can use the same clips across the projects. So say you want to create a short vacation video and a long vacation video. You could put both of those projects in one library, throw all your vacation video clips in there and then use some of the same clips on both projects. But most of the time we're not doing that. We're creating a completely new project with completely new clips. And there's no reason to store those both in the same library. You can create a new library very easily in iMovie by going to File. Open Library and then you'll see here New. So let's create a new library. Let's say we want to create a new project that's going to be from our most recent trip. So you call it something appropriate like that and you create it. Now nothing's going to change here because you're looking at all projects in all libraries. But I can actually zero in on just one or the other. So if I go to Vacation right there you can see there's no library there. So let me switch to that and I'll create a new project and you can see it prompts you to choose which library. So I'll choose this one. Now to make things very clear I'm going to rename this to the same name as the library. So let's leave here and it's going to prompt us at that point to name the library even though we haven't done anything yet. Like that. So now I could see when I'm looking at all projects very clearly that this is the one project in that one library. So it's very easy to associate the project and the library together. Now I can go and add what I want here. So I can you know, drag and drop clips into this and I can see here that now both of these clips exist in this library here. I still can look at my other one because I have both of them open at the same time. But now the important thing is, is I have two separate libraries. This one here that had up my old projects in it and this one that has just that new project in it and its clips. So when I'm done producing this project if I want I can archive that to another drive or maybe it was just something quick I wanted to do and I don't even want to save the project. I can just delete this library here without affecting what's in here. So the basic idea is to follow the rule one project in one library. And keep going with that unless you have a good reason to say have two projects in a library like a short and long version of a video. This makes it easy to see how much space a particular project uses on your drive and it also makes it easy to delete or archive any of these. It also means you can easily transport it back. So you can archive this and then a few months later decide you want to edit it, bring it back to your internal drive so iMovie can access it efficiently, work on it some more and then when you're done with it move it back to the external drive again. Now when you have multiple libraries open you can still bring clips in from the other library. So let me go here to this other one and let's say I want to bring this clip in to this project here. So what's happened now is if I go to my project media I'll see all three there. And if I go to this library here you can see it imported this clip in there. So this clip now exists in both of these libraries. So it was easy to actually do it. I have two copies of it now but now my projects are independent of each other. So I can move this library to an archive drive 
and it's all self-contained. Now you can also access a lot of this by going to the Media tab here instead of Projects. And then you'll see your media just like you're in a project but you're not. You can just view what you've got here. And you can choose an entire library. And this is where you can close a library. You can select one right here, go to File, Close, Library, iMovie Library. And now I'm just using this one here. When I go to Projects that's all I'm going to see under All Projects. But I can get that other one back very easily by going to Open Library and you'll see the Recents up here. I can clear Recents. I can use Other to find a library anywhere. So when you actually choose Other it brings up this interface here. You can use one of these or you can do Locate and actually find the library itself. And now I'm back to having two libraries open at the same time. Now what if you want to move some of these projects to its own library. Remember the ones here in iMovie Library, there's three of them, they are all in that original library. Let's say I want to move this to another one. I can click here. I can move to Library and I can move it to another one if I want. So let's go and create another one. Open Library, New, and I'll call this library My Movie 3 just to match the name. Now I can click here, say Move to Library and move it there. So now you can see it's not in iMovie Library anymore. It's in My Movie 3. And if I look at the Finder here I've got this one right here and I've got this one right there. And note if I go to Media here and I look here in My Movie 3 there's the two clips that were moved and they are no longer here in iMovie Library. So you can use that method to untangle your existing iMovie Library which may have many projects in it into several individual iMovie Libraries each with its own project. And then from here on out create a new library for each new project you want to build. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.